Just a quick introduction to this one, guys. This is two in one, really. I was doing FedEx on the industrial estate, and when I completed that one, I turned my camera around and we decided to do a company called Smurfit Kappa. So, hope you enjoy the videos, guys. If you do, click the like, please leave a comment, and of course, if you haven't, please subscribe. So, as we're walking down the road, guys, this is. Um, a little look in through the fence from the side here. I'm not breaking any rules here, but just to show you that we've got some sort of reception area. Guy just going in lots and lots of bays, uh, 24 in total. So we're just going to go down to the gate now. The oil wagon is still there, but we're not going to let that disturb us. So here we are at the FedEx depot the tanker wagon has just dropped his back end so he's going to be leaving very very shortly just locking it all off by the sound of it so not a lot to see from what those guys are doing We will cross the road. Just to see him packing up and going off. I was just saying to my viewers, unusual to see oil being delivered on an industrial estate. Uh, uh, we, uh, we, we pick uh, all the waste stuff up. Oh, do you? Right. Yeah, okay, no. so it's not oil. No. How no. thick am I? <laughs> so how often do you come here for this then? Uh, this is every three months. Oh, not too much then. So they're not that full of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair play. Is that a camera so you can see stuff? Yeah, we've got cameras. Do you know they're everywhere nowadays, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've even got silly buggers walking around with them now. <laughs> so you've been in the job long, guys? Sam, you've done two years. Two years for you, Sam? Yeah. Fair play, enjoying it? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. I've done what, eight months? Yeah, oh, is that all? Oh, you're new to it then. So, what's the money like? Any good? Decent, mate. Otherwise, it won't be here. Well, that's what we all do it for, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. No, fair play. In case, in case you're wondering, I'm just one of those fellas that vlogs. We go around different sites. Oh, yeah. Trying to film anything that might be of interest to people that can't get out and see it for themselves, that sort oh, of stuff. Okay. So, I'm just going to wind this fella up here because FedEx and people like that, they don't like the camera. <laughs> no. There might be some secret going on. Well, that's what they tell you. You never know. Yeah, yeah, we've had all sorts of stuff, you know, bonded warehouse and all this. So, uh, anyway, I'll leave you to your job, guys. You never know no what worries. goes on in there. Thanks for speaking that's to us. Right, no uh, I'm going to get back over on the pavement, otherwise, I'll be in trouble. So, yes, guys, so we've got a FedEx depot here with TNT wagons as well. Um, not really sure what we can see. Let's have a little wander up. It's a one-way system. Rather well kept. Grass is cut. A little bit of junk about that you wouldn't expect to see. But uh, yeah, 
all very secure as you would expect um, pedestrian crossing so there is a footpath that goes in through the car park and it comes up to a turnstile which I'm assuming is a key code I can't really tell from here and then there's another zebra crossing that goes off down that way to enter the building obviously a private car park here not too many cars I would have thought there may have been a few extra cars but uh, maybe this is one of those depots that's a pickup and drop off and not many two people actually work here um, yeah let's have a little little zoom in can't really see much obviously we've got to be very wary of traffic but um, see if we can show you a little bit from just there not really much to see as I say TNT and FedEx reception and all the rest of it so uh, quite well kept land in fairness we'll just come over this way a little bit and see what we can see obviously we've got to be careful of the road as we're always told so yeah FedEx customer collection so ah, customers can come in as well customer collection and drop-off points that's interesting doesn't look like anybody's in the security box which is uh, well, I don't know what DJ Audits would say about that. He'd probably say that was a bit of a failure. So we're just going to hang around for a little bit and see what occurs. Pick it up in a bit, guys. So, yeah, just to recap on the, uh, the wagon here. It's not a uh, fuel delivery, as I thought. It's actually waste collection. So those two guys seem happy in their job. Um, and they come here about every three months. So maybe somebody could put in the comments, is that a new thing for industrial estates that they're not on mains? Because they must be on mains for other facilities, surely. Um, hence why at first I thought it was a fuel wagon so anyway we're not going to give it too long here either guys because there's nobody in the box um, and there's not that many cameras from what I can see seems a bit a bit sparse um, you would expect somewhere like this would have more uh, especially as they've got their private car park over there um, you know, somebody just going into work by the look of it. Might well go in and tell Big Brother we're out here. But, uh, as I said, we won't be spending too long here if it doesn't look like there's anybody coming to the security box because... We can use it to, to recce around and see other establishments for another day. It's quite a big old site for a small sort of complex, so most of it must be hidden from the public eye. Um, I wouldn't know. Again, another very, very, very quiet site. There's not a lot to see, be seen, not a lot going on. Um, but what we'll do is we'll drop it and pick it up in a bit, guys. A little bit of cam back going on, guys. So there's another wagon leaving, so that's good. We can catch one of those. This one's a TNT wagon. No, he's not coming out. He's, he's going round the back, so... Uh, He's Can empty, he's probably getting low luck. Sorry? Can I help you? So... Can I help you? No, I'm fine, thank you. Can I ask what you're doing? Of course, yeah. What are you doing? 
So I'm just trying to get a bit of humour. Because ah, right. okay, you looked okay. a bit you looked a bit serious. No, 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 I just wondered what you're doing, that was all. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing a story on the industrial estate. Okay. Uh, I didn't know FedEx was here, so I'm just telling my viewers that it's obviously being shared with be careful of the road. <laughs> TNT. No, um, they've they've actually bought us out. Oh have they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, TNT okay. is no longer. Right. So we're gradually having all the vehicles changed over and everything. So God, yeah. that's gonna be pricey. <laughs> changing well, all the livery? Uh yeah. Well, they've, as you can see, they've changed all the signs and everything. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it was so, originally, so originally, originally this was, was TNT. TNT. Yeah. Ah, right. Now, That's probably why I didn't realise it was FedEx. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and, and this is a distribution centre? Yes, it is. And you employ lots of people or mm, quite about, a small... About 170 here. Oh, right, quite a few then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. There's not really yeah. much more to ask you. Um, I was just about to leave, actually. I was just... That's right. I was just saying to you know, my someone viewers... Said there's, there's someone suspicious out there filming. <laughs> Do I look suspicious? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, you know, you'll see guys doing this sort of thing. They got masks on mm -hmm. and everything. I'm very open. Um, I just want to, if I get interaction, it's great because you can answer a few questions. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a bit concerned you haven't got security. We do have. But not in the box. Because uh, we're here. Right. We've got okay. the cameras inside and everything. We gotcha. can see the cameras and everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're always here. But they're, right. they're here all weekend. So is that is that a cutback? Right. Uh, no, it's been for the, about no. the last 10 years. Oh, now. right, okay. But um, you don't use it for something else then? <laughs> no, because they, they use it. They're oh, they here, do, at night time. They're, they're here, yeah, on a night. Ah, right, that makes sense. And first thing in the morning. Yeah, when it's, when it's needed when we're most. Here during the day. Well, yeah. it's an operator, it's a 24 7 yes. operation. So. Yeah. Do you get much crime in this area? No. Good, good. good. You, well, yeah, I know <laughs> what you mean. Yeah. I mean, I, I travel all around doing this sort of thing, just trying to get a little bit of interest for people that can't leave the home. Mm -hmm. sort of stuff they don't know what's going on in the world obviously it's good to see companies coming out of covid yep so so was the buyout then due to the other company failing or was it just we'll snap them up and make no it's it just that fedex decided to buy tnt worldwide oh right okay yeah ups Could, tried a few years ago you don't want to sell to them eh? <laughs> you don't want to sell. <laughs> so can, can i ask them because it saved me going looking at how much did they pay if it's worldwide i don't know it's got to be billion surely 60 some billion i think 60 some billion yeah, yeah. I see you're having the same problem as me with glasses and masks. Steaming up, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, well, I won't keep you any longer, no, sir. That's fine. Uh, Andrew, thank you very much. No problem. I'm Scott. Uh, yeah, tell tell the guys nothing to worry about. I'm yeah. not climbing in or anything. No. Although I will say one thing. Yeah. That uh, people doing this sort of vlogging stuff is yeah. on the increase. Yeah. And just if I could give you a bit of advice to save you some headaches in the future, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. So, as you saw, I didn't go anywhere other than here yeah. technically this is private property yeah but it's got a public right of access mm -hmm. as we all know yeah. your car park if you were to just put up a sign mm -hmm. yeah it would help you and also because your footpath comes in through the car park to here yeah. now i wasn't going to push my luck to come to there even though i could yeah um so it might be something you want to consider just to stop other people coming too close yeah okay okay you know you you might just say I don't care. No, 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 we do care. We do but no, care. thank you very much. No thank problem. you for being professional. That's um, right. And I hope you didn't mind the way I tried to de-escalate no, by no, having no, a bit of humour. Because no. some people come out, they're a bit angry. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Cheers. All right, take care. Enjoy the rest of the week. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, guys, you heard it there. 60-odd billion um, buyout package worldwide. So anybody else who fancies going around to some depots, you might get some interesting stories. I didn't really feel there was much to ask the fella, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> might come back though when security is in the box, so in the morning or even a nighttime call. I've, I've not done a nighttime one yet. That might be a very interesting thing to start doing, actually. So anyway, we're going to head on back down, drop it here. If I see anything that I think you'll be interested in, I'll pick it back up. If not, I'm going to recce for the future. And uh, just remind you, click like, click share. Please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel no end. And um, if you click the notification button, you'll be notified of when we're doing when we're uploading other stuff and of course if you're new to the channel or haven't already please subscribe and um, 
I was just going to stay here for a little bit and just see what this place is. Um, Smurfit Kappa. So they are recruiting. Um, there's no signs to say keep off the grass or anything like that. It's quite a large company by the look of it. As you can see. So we'll have a little look along the front. It's only because this wagon came out I thought I'd have a little look-see. It's quite a nice high bit of ground here to look in. So uh, a few Downton wagons in. Obviously a local haulage company. Little chap on his forklift. Who I think might be coming out. He might be going somewhere else. No, he's, uh, he's parking up, he's, uh, he's seeing the lorry off site, so, uh, so we'll just keep filming for a second guys. Um, set of steps there up to, up to some sort of keypad. Uh, lorry's just going out, Clark Transport. <laughs> nice <No. laughs> nice one. Sorry, I'll have to come a bit closer. What's the filming about? I want to make you a star for Hollywood, what do you reckon? Yeah. No, it's not seriously. No, I'm doing a story on the industrial estate. Right. I've uh, just been talking to the guys in... Do they um, know you're filming us working? No, because I'm coming from that right, way. so you need to go to the main reception and speak to someone about getting permission to film. Why is that then? Because we don't like being filmed. That's, that's you don't like being filmed? Can I just, respectfully, can I just say something to you? Yeah. If I'm feeling... If I'm feeling, arc at me. If I'm filming from anywhere like public, publicly yeah. accessible, you've got no right to privacy. I can, film, land. I can film anything I can see with you're my still, eyes. Yeah, but you're still on private property. There are no signs to say that, yeah? With all due respect. I'm not, I'm not trying to wind you up because you're just here trying to earn a living. Um, and really, it's just people like to see what's going on. Yeah, that's you know, fair enough. So there's no, there's no. But we haven't been informed that we're. No, well, I was coming from that enough. way. I'm, I'm going to go down that way now, and if it will make you feel better, I'm more than happy to pop in. I would. Can I tell him who sent me? Yeah, Dave Cox. Dave Cox. Yeah. All right, Dave. But honestly, there's nothing to worry about. Um, you're just trying to do a job. Uh, the guy in the lorry seemed to know what we're all about. He's just a delivery driver. Yeah. No, hey, never just. Without them, the arteries of the world well, would be it, closed. <laughs> Yeah, but I would seek permission. No worries, Dave. I'll because go down there. When we have people in filming us and things like that, they have to come to us first. Of course, do you yeah. Mind being filmed and that sort of thing. Yeah, do you don't mind being filmed, do you? Well, no, I'm not fussed. Yeah, that's all right then. Because if you did, I'd blur your face. But if yeah. you're okay with it, well, thank you all for right. approaching. Right, and right. Uh, enjoy the rest of the week, yeah? yeah? I'll go back this way. Oh, is this important, this strap, Dave? No worries, bud. So Dave says to me to come down here and go into the front office. So I'm going to do what Dave said and see and see what they're like. I mean, Dave didn't have a problem with this filming. Um, so, yeah, um, he starts off saying he doesn't like being filmed, and then I ask him if he's got a problem, and he says no. Bizarre. But we know, don't we, that the camera does make some people feel a little bit intimidated. But if we can educate them to the fact that we can film anything we can see, Hopefully it puts them at ease. And you never know, they might be able to tell a colleague one day that's getting a bit stressed. So anyway, we're just coming up to the reception. And uh, we'll pop down and we'll see what they say. It, it could be interesting, this one. I don't know why, I've just got a gut feeling. Just a little gut feeling. But we'll do what Dave said. 
I'm going to pop down and because uh, we've got a legitimate reason to come in here haven't we because Dave said so let's have a look then what's yeah. the button? hello mate you right? yeah I take it it's button entry is it? Uh, no, door should just open. Oh, should it? Receptionist will either let you in or tell you to go away. <laughs> Which will be the latter, I think. Cheers. That's okay, don't worry. Sorry, um, I was trying to sort that out. These are listen, it's not a problem, don't worry. Um, Dave Cox sent me down. Dave Cox? Do you know Dave? Yes. Well, that's all right then. <laughs> um, after Thank you. you. I've just been doing some filming in the area, a little story on how businesses are coping through COVID, and I was coming from FedEx. Oh, okay. Um, so I didn't ask permission first. Okay. So I was filming the back gate purely because the lorry was coming out. And he said, I should come and see you and just get permission. Okay. But, but in fairness, I'm pretty much done because I just wanted to catch the lorry. <laughs> okay. Well, this is, this is one of the managers. Sorry, Hello, sir. How are you doing, Jeff? How are you doing? Not too bad, thank You're you. You're very young for a manager. You must be good at your job. I am. Good. What can I do you for, sir? Um, I was just, I've finished filming up at FedEx. Okay. I'm just doing a story on the industrial estate. I'm a vlogger. Okay. You've probably seen it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, as I was coming back, a lorry was coming out your back gate, so I filmed it. But Dave Cox had a little bit of a yeah, we can't. We're, we're he was a little not... bit concerned. He was very nice. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. give him credit where credit's due. But he said just pop in, and I thought, well, I'll pop in just to say what I was doing because I'm pretty much done to be honest. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, we can't we can't publish it because we're we're, we're not supposed to have any uh, unauthorized filming on site unless it's got um, authorization from senior management team. Right. Okay. So you you sound as though that's like set in stone, and I'm not trying to be awkward. Yeah, no, yeah. Because I, I was actually filming from the public area. Yeah, but if obviously for for uh, uh, is it GDPR. Ah, right. Okay. Obviously, we got guys that are working on site, and they might not particularly want to be on. Well, I did say today so if he had a problem, I would blur him out because I'm I'm respectful like that, and I will offer you the same courtesy, obviously. Yeah. Um, but filming for just just to give you some you know mm -hmm. if you're interested in a little bit of advice because this is a growing craze now if you film from public like if i was stood up on the pavement there's nothing you could do mm -hmm. um, i'm not here to say that to yeah, cause yeah. a problem i'm just trying to give you some advice yeah yeah um, but really i just popped in out of courtesy to say i've been filming i'm not any nefarious sort of reasons or anything like that so please don't worry yeah, yeah. um and that's all i was doing so Inside, is there? Oh no no no! I don't I, I don't want to do anything anywhere yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. It, it's um, you've got to hold this like this because this is a gimbal. It's all yeah. very sensitive gearing and everything. But yeah, it was just to put anybody's mind at ease. Dave, because I said to Dave, you don't mind filming. He said, no, I don't care. But he pointed out the, the company policy really. Yeah, so right. like I said, it, it, it wouldn't be able to, That's to publish any videos of any individuals yeah. right there at forty percent. Yeah. Now he did say that if I was to ask. There's a possibility of booking an appointment to come in and film what you do because you've had people in before. Potentially. Okay, so if I get an email off this young lady, would that be okay? Yes. Yeah. And then Sorry. I could I could write in and I say write in, it's email, it's still yeah, writing I'll give, in. I'll give you and then, so what's the um, actual blog for? It's just industrial areas. I do all over the country and I'm just happen to be down this way at the moment. I've been up in Chipping Sodbury doing more of an architectural vlog. So it's wonderful. I don't know if you come from out that way. No, I'm from a uh, smoggier side of town down there, mate. I don't know that. So okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> next junction down there. They've got some busy. lovely architecture, and then I went into Yate because I thought it would be similar, and it's not. It's it's all modern, so it doesn't interest. Uh, and I just come down to have a look around, really. So, you know, I normally type in and see if there's anything of interest. David Hathaway at the end. I've been up there, so, you know, just that really. Okay.
I just like to not, I don't want to leave with people feeling uneasy, you see. Because mm -hmm. that's not, that's not polite, right, that's, is it? That's fine. No, I appreciate that. Right. What's your name, sir? My name's Scott. 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 Scott, Scott. See, now it opens it up, because I could say, Scott, nothing to do with you to know my surname. <laughs> no, I, but, obviously, I would like to be able to, to, of course. to speak to our environmental manager and just say, sort of, like, we've had someone. Of course. In the, filming the local architecture, of as course. you said, just to make sure that we're fully aware of. But just to let you know... Well, we may pop up on the interweb somewhere. Uh, you may do. I, I may not put any of it on. What I tend to do is I go home and I, I go through... I've got quite a lot of interesting stuff from earlier. I was talking to two beat, beat bobbies earlier. You don't see okay. them very often. Have a good chat with them. So this might not even get on. Uh, it doesn't mean that I don't want to come back, though. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sort of preempting that there's nothing that he could and maybe make an appointment and come back and, uh, you know... So, yeah. Okay, and, and, of course... I could give you any surname, couldn't I? Yeah, you could. So, you know, but yeah, it's, it's just that I don't, as a rule, you know. Cool. So, did you tell me your name? Dan. Dan. Yeah. Thank you, Dan. Thank you very so professional. Much. Cheers. <laughs> and as I said, very young for a manager. So, yeah, well done. You must be doing something right. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, that's our email address. If you send. Lovely. And then what I can do is actually pass it on if you need to do anything in, in, inside. It, it would just be nice. Yeah. Uh, you know, my viewers love to see the inside of places. Gotcha. Yeah. I've got an appointment to go back to Muller up in Stonehouse. Oh, okay. Uh, that's going to be interesting. It's a nighttime one because I don't want you in during the day. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll leave you in peace. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Thank so you very I much. I was on the phone just now. Honestly, I had all these meetings. Listen, you're Sorry, a very busy lady. Because you can't see my face. I know. And I don't want to. You're I'm a very busy person. lady. I understand. And you should always come first. Yeah. All right. All I right. just wondered if you were going to let me in. That was all. No worries, no worries. All no right, problem. take yeah. care. Bye bye now. So guys, as you will probably guess, I've got my be very friendly and be very nice head on. Um, because my aim, just so as you know, is I do want to get back to some of these companies and get inside and do some stuff that could be interesting for people to see. Um, and I have found that if you're over the top with people, I mean, Dan there he's obviously saying you know about the filming and I just said to him you know I could if I wanted to um, not once though did he tell me to stop filming in there so that's interesting uh, and in fairness he's a young guy so anyway it's starting to lose the light I will be coming back to this location um, Royal Mail is up here, so Royal Mail is on the list for the future. There's a couple of big places that are empty. So hopefully we'll be watching any new companies that come in. Um, just catch a, if I can. Three flags flying there, look. So you've got company flag. You've got the Union flag, of course, flying proudly in the sky, and you've got an Italian flag, which suggests to me that this company has an Italian connection. Doesn't really bother me too much. But anyway, so from uh, Westerly Business Park, which is Yate. This is Expose and Educate. Please click like. <clears throat> Please share the video. Try and bring some of your friends over to the channel if you like what we do. Please leave comments. Any suggestions? Anything like that? Please let me know. Um, please subscribe. And if you hit the little bell icon, You'll be notified of any future uploads. But from Expose and Educate today, 
I'll bid you farewell. Stay safe, take care, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.